right, I think we've all heard it. AI, it's taking over the world. And there are actually some AI driven tools that you can use to make better videos. So I thought, let's make a video and let's talk about it. The first tool that we're gonna talk about is something you've probably heard of. It's called ChatGPT. Very simply put, this is a really smart chatbot. If you have a question, it knows the answer. If you need to write an essay, it can write an essay for you, which also means that if you need any video ideas, video titles, or even video scripts, it can all do that for you. I've only used it a couple of times so far for fun, but I am honestly amazed with how smart it is. Let me show you. The first question I'm going to ask is if it can please give us 10 video ideas ideas for a YouTube video about concert photography because right now that is all I know. I want to make a video about concert photography but I'm not entirely sure what it should be about. Now as you can see within a matter of seconds it started listing us these ideas that we could potentially use. Now I saw one keyword here that I want to build on and that is challenges. So now I'm going to ask if it can write a 500 word script for a YouTube video about concert photography challenges. Again, immediately it's generating an answer for us. And in this case, that answer is a script. The wildest thing to me here is that it does not just give you a worded script that we asked for, but it's also giving us some editing suggestions, when to cut to B-roll, when to change the A-roll up, what the opening shot should be. That is pretty impressive. Like I said, I've done this a couple of times and although it hasn't really given me anything that I could really use, I feel like it is a great way to get new ideas. It's a great way to get you going or to keep going whenever you're stuck because I feel like when it comes to the creative process, it is always helpful to bounce it off someone else even though that someone else may be a robot. And now that we've used AI to come up with a video idea and a script, it is time to film the video. And after you're done filming the video, we're going to load in our footage on an app called Descript. Descript is an AI powered editing tool that is mostly known for its text-based editing. Now this means that when you import your footage, it will automatically transcribe the footage for you and it will result in a document. This means that you can edit your video as if it is a text document. You can delete sentences, you can create cuts. It is really impressive and really efficient and very helpful for the people that rather scan through a text than skip through a timeline to find certain bits or to just edit a video. If you want, you can actually edit your video from start to finish in Descript, but I want to show you one other cool feature in Descript. So what we're going to do is when we're done with our rough cut, when we're done with our text-based editing, which again is so mind-blowing to me, we're going to export our video to Premiere Pro. Descript has the option to export a timeline and all of the assets that we've used to any video editing software of choice. So in order to do that, we're going to click on publish, export, and then timeline. Now here where it says format, we can choose the format of our timeline. And in this example, like I said, I'm going to export it for Premiere Pro. Then we want to open up Premiere Pro and we're going to navigate to the folder that we saved our timeline in. Then we want to look for the sequence, which is this little icon right here. Double click on that sequence and ta-da! Your entire timeline edited in Descript can now be further edited in Premiere Pro. Hello, I quickly wanted to pop in here and add that if you are using Premiere Pro, you're going to be very excited to hear that Adobe has now officially announced that text-based editing is going to be available in Premiere Pro. At the time of making this video, I, wa ooh, I wasn't allowed to talk about that yet, but now I am because it's official and I'm very excited for everyone to try text-based editing in Premiere Pro. If you aren't using Premiere Pro, then obviously Descript is still a good option. Since we've already cut our video, it is time to spice up our video and every YouTube video needs some good music. And this is where the next AI tool comes in. There's a website called Track Club where you can download songs for your videos. At first, this looks like any other music library on the internet, but like I said, it is not because it uses a technology called MixLab that allows you to customize a song in any way you like so it fits your video. It is technically not powered by AI, but it works very similarly, so I still wanted to include it in this video as I think you could really benefit from this. Obviously, first, we're going to need to find a song that we like. Now, I, the way that I do this on Track Club is I usually just go to one of the playlists that fits the vibe of my videos, and oh, what do I see here? A playlist by my friend Donna. All right, let's check it out. Yeah. 
Okay, I like that one. We're gonna pick that one. Now that we've picked a song, we're going to click on this button right here, which is called Mix Lab. This button will open up every single stem used in the production of this song. Now, as you can see, you don't just get vocals, you don't just get drums, but you get every track within that category. Now you can listen to individual stems by clicking on the S, the solo button right here, or you can mute the track by clicking on M. So let's say that we want to get rid of the whistle. Done. We do really like the funky bass in this song, but I want to increase the volume so we can hear it better. Now, as we can see, we can also increase or decrease the BPM to match the energy and the pacing of your video. I personally only recommend to change the BPM of an instrumental song and not something with vocals in it. However, if you want to change anything with vocals in it, that is totally fine because you will not change the pitch. You will only change the speed of the song. When you're done mixing your song, you can just download the mixed version or you can download all of the separate stems, but because we just mixed it, we're just going to download the mixed version. Now, if you want to check it out, if you want to check out Track Club, there will be a link in the description and you'll get one month for free with that specific link. And during this free month, you'll get access to high quality music made by real artists. And you do not have to worry about copyright claims or strikes because you'll also get instant clearance on YouTube. So go check out the link in the description and get yourself a free month of fully customized songs thanks to Mix Lab. Let's move back to Premiere Pro because Adobe has its own artificial intelligence called Adobe Sensei. And the list of features is ever growing, but in this video, we're just going to focus on a few that will really help you speed up your editing process, but also make your editing process a lot easier. We have just downloaded our own mix from Track Club. So let's import that to Premiere Pro. And let me show you one feature that I've talked about in a few other videos, but every time that I use it, it blows my mind. So we're going to talk about it again. We're gonna put the song on the timeline, then we're gonna to go to our toolbar, we're gonna to click and hold the ripple edit tool, and then we'll click on remix. Now, pay attention. We can now extend the song all the way to the end of the video, and let's watch Premiere Pro do its magic. Now this doesn't just work for extending songs, but also if you need to shorten a song and it is just a brilliant way to edit music without having to cut it all up on the beat and then trying to make it all work together again. This is just, I think, hands down, one of my favorite features of Adobe. The next AI tool that will be really helpful in your video editing process is actually not in Premiere Pro. It is called Topaz Video AI. Now this service specializes in slowing down footage as well as stabilizing footage and upscaling footage. And the most interesting one is probably the slow motion footage. You can turn any type of video, let's say 24, 25 or 30 frames per second into a, let's say 120 frames per second video without choppiness. This is what it would look like if you would just slow down a 25 frames per second video in let's say Premiere Pro. Now the reason why it looks this way is because we have one second with 25 frames in it. Now when you slow it down you're basically stretching out that second but 25 frames remain the same so now you're left with gaps and what video topaz ai does is it generates frames and puts those in between those already existing frames to make it look smooth it does the same with the other two the stabilizing and the upscaling footage because it uses machine learning it is able to get way better shots than you would be able to get if you were just using warp stabilizer in premiere pro or you would just use the skill property to make it bigger now, if we take a look at where we are in our video editing process, we have our cut, we have our music from Track Club, and we have some B-roll that we have now stabilized and slowed down. The next step could be that you need some captions for your video. Now, you don't need to go and take all of this and import it to a new software because in Premiere Pro, you can automatically transcribe your footage and generate captions. All you have to do is first transcribe the sequence and then do a quick scan to see if Adobe Sensei got all of the words right. And if it did, Click on the CC button right here to create your captions. I didn't get that. Could you try again? No, I cannot. I'm not sure I understand. Well, I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. <laughs> I talk a little bit more about it in a video that I'll put in the cards and in the description if you want to see this step by step. Now that the video is ready to be seen by the entire world, we want to export it and upload it, but not just to YouTube, to all the social media platforms. Now, if you've ever tried to do that, you probably know that every social media platform uses a different aspect ratio. And this is again where Premiere Pro comes in very handy because it has an AI driven tool that will help you reframe all of your videos automatically called auto reframe. All you gotta do is right click on a sequence, click on auto reframe sequence, 
options and then choose the desired settings for the social media platform of your choice. I'll put some aspect ratio on screen. There are so many more AI tools that we can choose from to use in our video creation process. So I would love to know what your current favorite is and something that you're looking forward to in the future. And in the meantime, while you're down there in the comment section, go up a little bit and go check out Track Club and get your one month for free of AI powered music. Pretty cool. Also, if you want to learn some cool tips in Premiere Pro, make sure to watch this video.